yelling at the announcers to get us into the right frame of mind. Round one begins. Miguel Cotto with only one first round knockout and has gone away from home to train. Previously, he has always trained in his hometown of Pagliazes. He's still more of a boxer than a puncher. Needs to box to set up his big stuff. And also, he speaks Spanish. Our interpreter is Jerry Alaya, who's done a tremendous job for us on several occasions. Bronco has had difficulty getting off and landing in the first round. Miguel Cotto is taking his time and... Both of them trained by their uncle Evangelista Cotto, who was never a fighter. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Very, very. Is Cotto being a little too patient here? When he stays within his boxing form and wastes his turn. I think he's going to fight a very. A Bronco who cannot find an avenue to open his own offense quite yet. Incidentally. And also, uh. Bronco gets in. I would say that both fighters, their punches are short and accurate punches. So if either one throws a wild punch, you may get caught. Good right hand over the top by Bronco. Good left hook to the body there. And pulling back. Cotto punching through the target and hitting much hard to land at will upstairs. That's it. Up. Good combination. The Bronco doesn't start fighting. He's standing right in front of him, and it's almost impossible. You know, he cannot afford to let Cotto keep punching like that because, because Cotto is a big puncher and an accurate puncher. You have a guy that's maybe a puncher. Well, and and, and, and Bronco Bron do something different than what we've seen so far. John Lucha punches to the body and right in, so he's doing so many different things. Straight right hand to the body by Cotto. Bronco tries to cover up Cotto. Nice reaching in his hair for blood and hasn't yet found any blood to show to referee Luis Pabon. Uh, you know, a lot of those body punches are landing on the arms. There's a hard right hand by Bronco. Actually, he's got such fast hands that if he starts going forward, it open it up a little bit more. It's a real fast-handed fighter. Well, as far as I'm concerned, he's fighting a, good, a very intelligent fighter, just, not just the speed. The speed and the power. The guy from Colombia who came close to knocking uh -huh. Cotto out last. He's far more efficient when he stays back in box. Bronco popping Cotto with a little right hand. Wait, which fighter provides the best matchup? Lloyd Mayweather, Zab Judah, or Ricky Hatton? Bronco told us he's never... Six rounds to nothing, 16 of and through him, hammer with a much harder shots, and Bronco just came in which Bronco landed equally the fourth. Harold Letterman airs in favor of Cotto's harder. Right there, almost busted up. He is taking a beating. Larry Merchant, ringside request. In your opinion, who is the greatest Puerto Rican fighter of all time? I think that Trinidad is probably the most sensational uh, international star who ever came out of Korea. He was a fabulous boxer. And this looks like the end of the fight. Let's take a look now at how the... Miguel!